How we doing guys? Dylan from Ordnance.com. I'm going to be showing you guys some Mark IV Orlikins. These are displays that we put together. We fully restored them. Uh, they're currently on the website, but we're offering them in three different configurations. So, this is how these kits start. They are fully demilled, uh, original World War II, and they are in very rough shape. So, the first option is unrestored. You will get basically this entire pile of parts excluding magazines unless you uh, select that option uh, and you will have to fully rebuild it. The torch cuts are all in different places. Uh, they're all demilled to different extents. Every kit is going to be different but they will have all the components you need to fully put one back together uh, the same way we have with our grade uh, 2 and grade 1 options. This is uh, unrestored essentially it's grade 3. So this is the unrestored kit. This is a unrestored demilled magazine. Really rough condition, large demil marks. We also have new old stock magazines. This is a left hand, uh, excuse me, this is a right hand, new old stock, so very nice, covered in cosmoline, still in very good shape. And then we have the same thing, new old stock left hand. Left hand is uh, noted by the Z pattern uh, painted on the top so they wouldn't get it confused in combat so this is option one that you can get unrestored this is going to be the, the cheapest option if, if you want a project uh, we recommend that only people who are extremely competent machinists or somebody who who has a lot of willingness uh, attempts this guy uh, over here this is our grade two this is uh, put back together by our machinist very minimal body work, fully assembled and painted as one unit. So uh, paint will be missing in some spots. It will be over painted in other spots, uh, like actuating parts like the magazine release here, the uh, trigger. There's just gonna be stuff that doesn't work exactly the way it should because this was painted as one unit, nothing was taped off. This is gonna be our second option. This is for uh, display purposes if, if you're never really going to see it or you're kind of a 30, 40 foot view of the gun. Uh, we have this option. We also have restored magazines. This is a right hand restored. Uh, beautiful condition. Uh, you'll see as an option on the website, demilled and non-demilled markings. This is an example of demilled markings. So uh, they ran a torch straight through the center of the markings, and uh, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. It's, it's damaged in that way. We also offer them on the website with non-demilled markings, which I'll show you here in a second. This is our grade one option. This is the most time and effort has gone into. That's a, a non-demilled markings. And these are fully taped off so that all the components uh, will disassemble properly, uh, functional a barrel release, functional magazine release, trigger. Uh, the magazines will slide right in because there's no paint uh, blocking them. All the markings are uh, lacquer sticked, um, parkerized components all over, parkerized in house, uh, painted springs. This is a fluted barrel, uh, it's got parkerized paint on it. This is our cutaway right hand magazine. That's also an option under the magazines. Uh, if you go to the very bottom of the listing for these guys, there will be an option for uh, display stands, stocks, and sights. Uh, we made this stock set and this sight completely from scratch based on originals that we have in-house. And so you can buy these reproduction stock and sight to have a finished display if you want to display it in a... Uh, Museum, man cave, an office, anything that you think would be cool. So this is our grade three non-demilled markings. This here is our grade, uh, excuse me, grade one, not grade three. And this is our grade one with demilled markings. So same thing, you can't fully see the markings. This was torch cut through the middle, so you can't see that. But this is how they look when they're finished. This is an example of a restored left-hand magazine. Lacquer stick all the markings. Uh, where the sight goes is all taped off. 
oiled so that you can uh, fit your sight right on. Those are all luxuries that you get with the grade one that you would not get with the grade two. But I just wanted to show you guys the start to this project. Uh, a lot of people talk about, hey man, your, your guys' website is very expensive. A lot of the items are very expensive. Why is that? Uh, people would not believe. This started as this pile of parts. We get these in, we have to organize them. We have to go through manuals and understand what all the components do. Is there left and rights? Once we've identified all the parts and gone through it, we have to fully uh, restore the entire gun, uh, machining any missing components or any sections that were cut that are missing uh, to get it to look like this. It's a huge amount of work and that's just to get it to where uh, it's ready for paint and body. And then after paint and body is hand parkerization in-house, uh, lacquer sticks, uh, ink stamping, uh, polishing, sealing. And then once you're finished with all of that, then it has to come up to the front where usually the same people helping restore it, uh, get pictures, get it cleaned, get pictures, uh, make postings on our website, make social media posts about it, uh, and show you guys these really cool videos. So there's a huge amount of work that goes into it. Just wanted to give you guys kind of a glimpse into the world of what we do. Uh, and how it turns from this pile of uh, rusty parts into these beautiful displays. Uh, these are on the website now. If you search Orlikin, they are the Mark IV Orlikin anti-air guns. Appreciate it, guys.